Now, here's a person. She looks pretty ordinary, but did you know she has a secret superpower? In fact, you do too. Chances are you've already used it without even knowing it. Have you ever spoken up against something wrong, stopped a fight, shopped locally or supported ethical businesses, listened deeply to someone even when you disagree? Well, there you have it. You've been using nonviolence, the ancient art of ahimsa that Gandhi developed into a science and gifted to the modern world. Nonviolence is not passivity, it's not weakness, it's not silence. So, what is it? A power, an incredible way of life, a set of tools for making constructive, lasting change. Nonviolence is love in action, it's a capacity in every one of us. It's the power that's unleashed when we convert our fear or anger into a positive force for change. It's powerful, it's transformative, and it's stronger than the injustices or the challenges we face. When this understanding informs our thoughts, words, and deeds, it unlocks a transformative power that can change ourselves, our communities, and our world. Instead of seeing people and nature as disconnected parts and resources to be used, science and spirituality are telling us that we're connected to everything from our families to our communities to the earth and all her creatures. It shows us what life can be like for everyone, creating a new story of our shared humanity. As people organize for rights, freedoms, and dignity, Nonviolence offers a set of time-tested tools to right wrongs and break the cycle of violence. It's been found to be twice as effective as violence. With its unlimited possibilities, people all over the world are finding thousands of ways to transform injustice without throwing punches or dropping bombs. Activist scholar Barbara Deming said that nonviolence has two hands. We can reach out to others even as we put a stop to their harmful activities. In nonviolence, you fight injustice, not people. Nonviolence reminds us that means are ends in the making. It offers ways to reconcile communities and achieve a long-lasting peace rooted in justice for all. As we emerge from the violence of the past and into the new story of humanity, nonviolence meets us at the heart of that journey. You can be part of it.